President Uru Kenyatta said that he will hand over power to his deputy William Ruto who won recent elections but declared he will recognize Raila Odinga as his leader. Kenyatta had made it clear that he preferred Odinga to succeed him but he lost the election to Ruto. Odinga accused the Electoral Commission of stealing his victory and even filed a challenge at the Supreme Court which dismissed his evidence. Ruto is now set to take oath on Tuesday next week, effectively succeeding Kenya, Kenyatta as the country's fifth president. Kenyatta was chairing the ASMIO meeting alongside Odinga to build consensus on the party's candidates for the National Assembly and the Senate top leadership post. Sharon Chetumba brings us that story. <laughs> President Uru Kenyatta has reiterated his pledge to hand over power peaceful to President-elect William Ruto, whose election was upheld by the Supreme Court. Speaking during an Azimio parliamentary group at the Maasai Lodge on Wednesday, Uru affirmed that he will pass down the leadership baton to Ruto as mandated by the law. The outgoing president further faulted Kenyans over the decision they made in the August 9th general election, stating that they denied themselves the opportunity of having a united country. <laughs> president Kenyatta gave his two cents about the upcoming National Assembly and Senatorial election for the speaker positions, endorsing Waipa leader Kalonzo Msioka in the Senate race. According to Uru, the former vice president was better placed to keep Ruto's cabinet in check. <laughs> Uru convened a meeting with the Zimio elected members of the parliament and senators to deliberate on how the coalition party will strategize to beat Kenya Kwanza in the speaker's elections. Any leader who was elected under Azimio and is now joining Ruto, William Ruto in his Kenya Kwanza, is a person who is, is for cheap, he is a dishonest, he is not even fit to be called a leader. Utanunuliwa leo kwa milioni moja lakini mkifika kule unaangalia na jicho la kando kwa sababu ikiwa ulikuwa kwenye azimio leo wadanganywa na senti kumi kwenda kuingia kwenye Kenya Kwanza basi hao Kenya Kwanza hawatakuamini rudi nyumbani tufanye kazi na sisi ndio majority na sisi ndio serikali na wa Kenya yoyote ambaye mlimpigia kura kisha leo ameongwa na pesa nane basi akirudi kule nyumbani mfukuzeni yule si mwenzenu ametumia mgongo wa azimio kuingia leo ananuliwa na pesa nane kwenda kupiga kura kwingine tunasema shame on you shame on you maisha prime maisha television amsharon chepchumba